Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look on take a look at the dollar versus Canada. Before we take a look at the hourly chart, which is uh, pretty self, uh, tells a lot about the technicals that are driving the currency market, I thought I'd take a look at the daily chart and just get a broader view of what this uh, currency pair is doing. Going back in time here, this uh, yellow area right through here was defined by a number of different uh, swing highs, swing highs, uh, swing highs, and then swing lows uh, through here. Uh, before uh, moving to the downside and then we came back up to that swing area through here uh, and here and here and uh, early sellers here uh, and then uh, sellers in trading um, not uh, uh, last month uh, in this area and in trading this month uh, the month of October we've seen a price action move above and below that this swing area including last four trading days with uh, one two three three uh, daily bars closing above the 137.04 level. So the buyers are trying to make a play, but they're not exactly getting very far. And we'll talk about that on the daily chart in just a, or the hourly chart in just a second. But uh, as you can see, the 137.04 was a high of this swing area. It goes down to 136.46. Uh, so it is a pretty wide area, a swatch of land that uh, that if we uh, if we were to move below the 137.04 level, we'd go down, we could all the way go all the way down to 136.46. 46 and still be within this area but uh, you get the picture you get the uh, broader view buyers are trying to make a play in the uh, dollar versus can we'll see if they're successful now i said in the hourly chart we get a better idea of what uh, what to look for here from a technical perspective and indeed uh, what uh, we, we find here is that the 100 hour moving average has been able to hold support giving that more bullish bias here uh, off the daily chart uh, that break above the 137.04 level and as you can see the last couple times at the price while well, we moved above it here and then came down tested it moved higher came down to it and found support buyers in trading on friday uh, so that uh, 100 hour moving average at 136.928 is a level that we need to get to and through on the downside. So we have 137.04 on the daily chart. And as you can see, we came down to the 137.00-ish type level in trading here today. Uh, this is this is a little bit of diff different uh, swing area than the uh, on the daily chart. Looking more closely at uh, the, the more recent price action, you can see why the, I've outlined this level as a level of resistance just by looking at all these different highs and lows i guess uh during this uh period period right through here uh where we've uh, uh where the uh, price has uh, found some support uh 136.87 to 137 so we need to get below that uh 100 hour moving average and also this swing area to increase the bearish bias and work our way down toward the 62 level before we even get to the 46 level or whatever on the daily chart so there's work to do on the downside but so far the buyers have been able to hold support up here now on the top side um, uh, what uh, gives uh, sellers sellers some hope is that uh, although the price has been above the 100 hour moving average we've also been able to find uh, resistance against this swing area through here where we had a number of different swing lows and swing highs through here before the market moved lower and then we came back and retested that area in trading last week off this hourly chart number of different times on friday we uh, came up short of that, that area early sellers pushed the price down to the 100 hour moving average in trading here today we found willing sellers against that level so uh sellers are are leaning against the 137 36 to 43 level the problem is this area right here the 100 hour moving average 137.04 level 137 level 136.87 all are levels that are have been a uh, troublesome uh, on the downside for sell sellers i uh, can't getting through those levels so buyers are leaning so there's a battle going on between this swing area up here this swing area down here and we'll see how it all plays out going forward but uh, at least at least as traders we know which levels are key and that's important for your trading bias, for your risk defining levels, for your targets as well. I hope you learned from this video. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.